the team did well. It is a unique team, and this team will continue to grow. The Micronesian Games is more of a de developmental meet, so you'll see like kids closer to my age or younger, and just kind of starting out, and they're like brand new into the competition world. It was a first for me, and it was nice to go out there and race with a lot of other people. How did you feel when you got the bronze? I was really excited and really proud to represent Guam standing on the platform there for them and I was also happy to represent you know team Guam by myself. I'm, I'm happy and I'm very proud of with all the kids and um, we had a great time they had a good experience um, and we're just gonna train harder and harder for the next competition. I think uh, next one is SPG. So this is your first time at the games? Yes. <laughs> what was that like? Were you nervous? Yeah, I was nervous at first, but then was, I got used to it for after the first couple of days. What did you swim? I did a 100 breaststroke, a 200 breaststroke, a 50 okay. breaststroke, and a 100 meter fly. What expectations did you have of Benji and Pilar and the uh, experienced swimmers with regard to the newer ones? Expectation is for everybody. You know their level, you know what they can do. Now their job is to execute the expectation. Have they done that? Oh yes, and then more. Away with all the gold? Not all the gold, um, but I had a blast because I, um, it was great seeing all the younger swimmers. Um, seeing them develop, this is such a uh, important event, an important competition for them because um, they're, you know, they're co up and coming to the next generation of, athlete, of Guam athletes and Micro Games is such a great um, opportunity for them to learn how to represent Guam well and um, I'm just so happy I was a part of that to help them, help teach them how to do it. It felt good to be a part of, you know, a developing team. It felt good to, you know, give them tips, give them advice, encourage them, stuff like that. Um, we were definitely competitive in terms of the women's relay teams. Um, there were a few close calls, so that was really exciting. And overall, it was a really good meet. That was my first gold, so I, I was pretty happy. And I was happy to be standing there with my teammates and to know that they trusted me and counted on me in order to do the backstroke for them in the medley. And you were the first one off the block. Yeah. yeah. Would you do it again? Uh, yes, I would, actually. that I, It was fun. Did you go there determined to get a medal? I was determined to get a medal. And I got a medal. Did you get what you wanted? Um, yes. Okay, what did you get? I got two silvers and four golds. In what? I got two silvers in... The, the first silver I got was in the 100 backstroke, and the second silver I got was in the 50 meter backstroke, and the four golds were in the relays. What is the future of going swimming, swimming in your opinion? When I came back from college, I definitely saw that a lot of my teammates had improved significantly. And we did really, really well at these games. So I am so hopeful that Guam swimming is going, shooting for the stars right now. And there's nothing but good things to lie ahead. Any surprises? No. no Expectati surprises. Expectations? Expectation was achieved. So and you expected everyone to medal? Yes. And did they? Every single one of them. Fantastic job. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.